Well, let me tell you, let me tell you my testimony. 1984. Ronald Reagan was just elected president by a landslide vote. Every state in the union voted for him except for Wisconsin, which was Mondale's home state, or was it Minnesota? Minnesota and D.C. Every, it was landslide. Ronald Reagan's in, and he decides to send an ambassador to the Vatican. Now, he already decided that in 1981. Probably didn't know that. But he couldn't do it. You know why he couldn't do it? Because there was a law on the books from 1867 that prohibited sending an ambassador to the Vatican because it was a violation of church and state separation. So that wall has to come down. Well, it already began to come down. It already began to come down. When we sent that ambassador to the Vatican in 1984, it already came down. It began to come down. Now, moving on. So Ronald Reagan's in. I'm out in the world partying with my friends because nuclear weapons are being pushed into Western Europe and this just eat and drink because and, tomorrow we're going to die because he's just going <laughs> to blow us to smithereens. This is going to be this nuclear holocaust. All the movies are telling us about it, you know, just like they are today. It's, you know, this or that or the other. But there was one thing that bothered me. The Adventists taught, according to Revelation 13 and Daniel chapter 2 and Daniel chapter 7, the Adventists taught that the entire world was going to follow the beast, follow the papacy, and receive the mark. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, what about USSR? You remember those guys? See, some of us have forgotten about these guys. But back in the day, when I became an app, that was huge in my mind. I was thinking, they've got more tanks, they've got more nuclear weapons, they've got more subs, they've got more everything. They're swallowing up the world. And this prophecy is saying that all the world's going to follow the papacy. They're never going to do that. You see? So I had to choose. Am I going to go by current events, by what I see happening in the world, or am I going to go by the Word of God? And friends, every one of us is going to be faced with that choice over and over again. Today we're faced with it again with the Muslims, with Islam. Every one. Are we going to go by what God is saying in His Word, or are we going to go by what current news is telling us? And I'll tell you what, if you, what, if you listen to the radio long enough, and you listen to the news long enough, and you imbibe yourself with all that stuff long enough, you're going to start hating Muslims. It's just inevitable. You know, God says we should be praying and interceding for all men. We should not hate any man. But you're going to, you know, when was... What were you thinking when he was uh, taken out? You know what I'm talking about, right? I'm not talking about Obama. I'm talking about Osama. <laughs> what were you thinking? Yes. Yes. Got him. Finally. See, we're called out of that kind of thinking. We're called out of that kind of thinking. And the only way you're going to come out of that kind of thinking is if you your brain into the Word of God and think of what sort of things are true and good and honest and of good report. Jesus loved his enemies. He loved Herod. He loved Pilate. He loved his enemies. And God is calling us to be like him. So I'm thinking, there's no... I just... But I had to accept the Word of God. Five years later, that step of faith was rewarded mightily. See, that's what prophecy is all about. We follow the Word of God, what the Word of God says. And you know when communism fell, Time Magazine had a full article on it. You know what the, the title of the magazine was called? The article on the fall of communism? Days of the Whirlwind. Days of the Whirlwind. They attributed the victory to John Paul II in Life Magazine. In U.S. News and World Report, they had a picture of John Paul II and Mikhail Gorbachev. And you know what the title was? Gorby's Bow to Roman Legions. 